What's up, y'all? White Hollywood here. This is Loop 1 I've created out here at Twin Hills. This is a full loop now on this section that's finished. I have lime green marker marking it and SRT arrows and tusk orange arrows. Uh, it's fully marked now, as you can see some of the arrows that you're going through. Um, I, I ran out of SRT arrows, so I had a buddy Georgie lend me some tusk arrows. So you'll see a little bit of both throughout the trail. Uh, this trail is for more of the e intermediate to experienced riders. There's lots of rocks, off camber section, creeks, uh, pivot turns, uh, off camber hillsides, climbs. It's rocky, it's challenging. Again, this is at Twin Hills Cycle Ranch. I have a start uh, start section and it says White Hollywood Trail at the beginning and a finish section. I'll tell y'all when it's finished. Um, we're just putting through it on this day. So I'm gonna add some commentary in here and for this trail. There's a couple little tricky sections that if you don't know where to go, but it's marked pretty well now. You should be able to figure it out. If you ever want to come out and ride with me and uh, I'll take you through the trail so you know how to follow the loop, holler at me, I'll take you on a ride. Uh, I got a couple guys behind me today. We're just kind of cruising through it. Excuse my hanging idle on my bike. Uh, huh. I later adjusted my air fuel screw. I had it adjusted for real hot temps and it cooled off this day, so excuse that. I later fixed it. It was real muddy in this section, so we kind of went, we still went through it, but uh, this is one of the other creeks right here. You see, I went around, you're normally supposed to go through it right there. Watch your head on that tree right there. <laughs> it's a cool little section though. You're normally supposed to go to the left and around right there, but it was pretty wet. So I went to the right. Now you're coming up on Hollywood Hill. This will teach you a, to a pivot turn right here. Right here at this section. I didn't do it very well today on this one. <laughs> and uh, you're gonna wanna lean left on this hill. Keep your foot on the peg, weight the pegs. Now you got a little drop in right here. This has became a lot easier as you'll see the, the rocks are pushed down to the right before it was real rocky. And then you're gonna go back up the hill right here. I cut all this out so it was rideable. I spent tons of time, y'all, on this trail. It's not a very long trail. It's only a little over, a little under three miles, I, I wanna say, maybe like two and a half. I have to uh, go out and record, and see how long it is. But I wanna say it's about two and a half miles. Not very long, but more challenging than anything. It was a little slick out there this day. We just got some rain. Uh, so just trying to hold the, hold the traction there and lug it through everything to keep traction. But, uh, now you're coming through a little rock garden section here. You're normally gonna pivot turn right here and then take a right and go back up. Real rocky. 
Uh, this loop is kind of consists of like uh, an enduro type feel and hard enduro type feel. Right here we have uh, a really challenging section. You have to go over a few rocks, hit a rock, clutch dump, boom, pop up over a rock, and then there's a gap. And if you're good enough, you'll hop it all at the same time in one run. This is a little trial section over here. People play in the rocks. You can see my arrow right there going left. I always tend to miss this turn. I always miss that damn turn. There's actually, there isn't actually a turn. You just keep going straight. Follow the arrow, follow the line green marker. This is another challenging section off camber you're gonna drop down on this hillside and it's very awkward <laughs> definitely gonna teach uh, challenger balance skills and you're gonna want to hug right on this hill now you're side hilling you're going across I, I cut all this out too. This is all new. Do not fall left right here because you will your bike will go tumbling down and you will get hurt. So be careful going through there. Right after that we have a, another drop down into a creek bed. There's the tusk uh, orange arrows. I'm gonna cross over the yellow trail right here and go back up. And then you're gonna drop back down in to the creek. In between these trees, which is really tricky. <laughs> it's starting to get easier as the line gets burnt in. Everything kind of burnt in. There's a trail now. You can actually see the burnt in line. We're going to cut down into this creek to the left and come out. You see the lime green arrow. You'll see a tusk arrow going straight. You'll see uh, another one right here that says turn left. Right here, be a little careful. You're crossing over a trail section. Going in, you're gonna go up this hill, climb. This is a fun little trail. As it's been getting burnt in, it's uh, it's getting better and better. It's getting a lot easier too. Uh, so this is one of the tricky sections when you when you end. You're coming out where you have came through, and uh, but you're cutting across the dry creek bed right here, or uh, whatever you want to call it, wa wash. And you're coming in here, and you're going to take a left into this creek and go through all these rocks and go up. Here's the finish, you'll see, there's the finish right there. You'll come out. Pretty easy to follow now. Enjoy the trail, y'all.